mind, man. Share the lives, share the lives, tap the hearts. We gonna talk. To all my heterosexual men on here, man, y'all gonna like this message. To all my real men on here right now, y'all gonna love this message. It's time for us to talk. The emasculation of men has to stop. Cause I ain't gonna let y'all do it to me. Turn up. You right, here we go. Let's go. Share this stream. Let's go. When I get when I get more people on here, we're gonna have some real dialogue, man. We're gonna have some real dialogue, man. I'm sick of this every day. It's the same old, same old, same old. Nah, y'all not gonna do it. Let's talk. Let's bring it in. Let's let's get, let's get the sexual vibes going. Y'all hear the background music. Let's get the sexual vibes going. How did we all get here? How did we get here? How are we in this world right now? Let's get the sexual vibes going, okay? It's your boy Robert Hampton, the author of How to Consistently Be Great in Bed. This book is on Amazon. How did we get here? How did we get here? Nobody's going to shame me for loving women. I love women. I love all of y'all. Women are beautiful. What is it not to love about y'all? Y'all are beautiful. You hear me? Women are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Women are beautiful. I love all women. Not gonna shame me for it. There's too many people out here. There's too many women shaming men for loving women. Y'all not gonna shame me for loving y'all. I love women. I'm an R&B artist. I love women. I'm a rapper. I love women. I'm a man. I love women. Y'all not gonna shame me for it. Nah, y'all not gonna do that. We gonna talk though. We gonna get this in here, man. I don't know what year y'all was born, but I know since the beginning of time that men have been loving women. I know this for a fact. Y'all not gonna shame me for it. Y'all not gonna do that. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna let y'all do that. To any man letting a woman shame you for liking women, y'all are not men. Y'all are not men. Y'all are not men. I'm sorry. I got to I gotta just be real with y'all. Y'all are not men. I don't know how y'all was raised. I know how I was raised. I was raised by my grandparents. Back in my time, it wasn't, men wasn't running around with their fingernails painted. Back when I came up, men were not wearing lipstick. Back when I came up, men did not have lashes on. Back when I came up, men were not wearing makeup. Nah, I come from that, I'm cut from that cloth. I'm a real man, I like women. Ain't nobody ever gonna be able to shame me for liking women. You can try it all you want. I'm telling y'all straight up, I love women. I absolutely love women. Women are beautiful. I love them. I, I'm listen, listen. I have the wandering eyes, I do. She's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful. I'm a man, it's in my DNA to look. I'm going to look. I love women. I am an R&B artist. I'm going to take pictures with women. I am a rapper, I'm going to take pictures with women. I love, I love women, not men. You ain't gonna ever catch me be googly eyed at a man. I see a man looking, I'm gonna look over there just to make sure I'm safe. Make sure he's not coming at me with no book, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I'm good. I'm making sure my environment is good. But I'm looking at the women in a different perspective. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she is beautiful. Ooh, she, I like her body. I like, ooh, her skin looks so soft. Ooh, I like how she looks. Ooh, I'm a man. You understand what I'm saying? I am a man. Listen, I grew up in an era where my grandparents said this. My grandparents, my grandmother, my aunts, the, all the women in my family, I grew up hearing these things right here. Oh, all men, dogs. All men are dogs. All, way, all men love women, man. Oh, look, look, look. He looking at her. Look, look. He looking at her. Oh, he likes women. Oh, he loves women. He, I grew up in the era where they talked about my dad. And I, 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 my dad wasn't around me every day. I love my dad to death. But my dad wasn't there every day for me. I heard my grandmother talk about her son, which is my dad. And she would look at me and she would say, you're going to be just like your daddy. You're going to like a lot of women. You're going to love women just like your daddy. I'm a little boy. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I'm little. I'm six. I'm five. I'm six years old. I don't know what's going on. I heard this from my aunts. I heard this from my grandparents. 
my grandmother, all the women in my family told me, you're, you're, you're going to be like your dad. You're going to like women a lot. You're, you're going to be like that. I see it. You are going to be a player. You're going to have all the women. I heard this from the women in my family. Since I was a kid all the way up, this is all I've ever heard. This is all I know. Men are supposed to love women. That's all I know. That's all I've ever known. But see, in this era, you're watching boys grow up liking boys because they're being emasculated. Women are telling them, no, you should not like women. No, 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 no. You're, you're, Y'all making it seem like it's wrong when a man likes women. No, you're supposed to be applauding that. Oh, you like women? Oh, yes. Yes, to all the little boys. You like girls? Yes, you're supposed to. You are supposed to. The Bible says be fruitful and multiply. You can't multiply if a man is not with a woman. You can't make it happen. Now, let me turn this. I just wanted to get the music right. Now, I'll say this. Y'all know I have two beautiful daughters. I only have two kids. As much as I love women, I love R&B music. I love being a rapper. I love being an actor. I love to entertain people. So my love for my entertainment career is just as equal as my love for women. So the reason I don't have 20 and 30 children out here is because I love my career as well. And I do know I have to balance that. I can't like women more than my career because if I like women more than my career my entire life, I would have 20 to 30 women. I mean, 20 to 30 kids out here. You understand what I'm saying? I absolutely love women. I'm a heterosexual male. You understand what I'm talking about? You can't shame me when you see me with women on here. You are not going to be able to shame me. I see the comments. I be like, oh my God, he always got more women around him. Oh my God. Listen, I am a single heterosexual male. I absolutely love women. You can't shame me for that. You can try, but it will not work. I promise you, it's never going to work. Not on a real male, not a real heterosexual male like myself. I see those comments and keep scrolling. I'll be like, what's going on with these people? Something is wrong. I'm not supposed to like women. What in the hell? I'm not supposed to. Listen, I know you guys watched me be married. I was married for six years with one woman for the whole marriage. Yes, I did that. I'm not saying that a man, a heterosexual male who loves women can't be with one woman. I'm not telling you that. I've never said that. I know I was married for six years and with one woman for six whole years. Okay, I am single. So, and when you see women around me, that's because I am a heterosexual male. It's going to be women around me, not men. Now, if you see men around me, that's my partner. That's my partner. Then what up, partner? It's going to strictly stay. That's my partner. You ain't going to catch me doing a love scene with a male. It's not going to happen. I'm a heterosexual male. I absolutely love women. All love scenes are going to be with women. I seen somebody comment on my post the other day. They said, you can't do this content without a woman, can you? No, I can't do a love scene without a woman in it. I cannot. I'm not going to tell you a lie. I can't. Every one of my love scenes is going to be some woman in it. Every time. I can't do a love scene without a woman. I'm sorry. So to y'all that love Y'all want to listen to some, look at some empire type of stuff, go to that content. You ain't going to catch me on my page around a woman kissing on no woman. I mean, you ain't going to catch me around no man kissing on no man, hugging on no man, a love scene with a guy. You're not going to catch me doing it. The industry can't even pay me enough. As an actor, I won't do it. You'll never catch me in a scene with a man. You'll never catch me kissing a man. It will not happen. I am a heterosexual male. I was taught from a little boy up that I'm supposed to love women. I was told as a five-year-old, oh, you're going to be, you're a fly little boy. You're going to have a lot of women. They spoke it into existence. I listen to the women in my family. I only love and adore women. So I need you women to stop coming to my platform, getting upset because I'm doing exactly what I know I'm supposed to do as a male, as a heterosexual male. I cannot create love content relationship content without women in it. That's the only way I'm going to do it. Now, if you want to see some man-on-man -man content, you got to go to these other platforms. You got to go to the TV. We know it's on TV. You ain't going to catch my fingernails being another color. They're going to stay like this color. They're going to stay this color they is right now. Now, I do go get my feet and nails done, but they stay this color. I get them trimmed up like I'm supposed to. You dig what I'm saying? I do get my eyebrows waxed, man, because I want to look good and clean for the camera. You understand what I'm talking about? I do shave. I keep my face shaved up and stuff like that, man, because I want I, I got to look good. You know what I'm saying? 
This is a business. Even without the business, even if I wasn't an entertainer, I would still keep myself cleaned up, groomed up and all that. And I still would love the women. You dig what I'm talking about? Now, I'm not coming on here telling y'all that men are supposed to be out here sleeping with all the women. That's not what I do. That's not what I do. But I'm going to have women around. I am a rapper, a singer, an actor, all of that. It's going to be women around. So I need you guys to grow up a little bit and stop this. Like, I need y'all to stop this to in this whole totality shaming men for liking women. Y'all got to stop it. That's why a lot of these dudes is playing for the other team. Y'all out here being single, y'all can't even find a man because y'all are emasculating. Some of these men, y'all got mind control. There's power in the tongue with you women and you don't even realize it. Y'all out here telling these men when y'all see them, oh, you, 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 you got too many women around you. You don't, he's, now he all of a sudden going to the other side and starting to date men now. Some of these dudes are weak minded. Y'all power of the tongue is strong women. When y'all are telling these dudes that, oh, no, you, you got another woman today. Oh my God, I don't like that. That doesn't look right. Now, now he playing for the other team. Now he over here getting, now he with a dude. Now the next time you see him, he got his fingernails painted. Now the next time you see him, he's got makeup on. Now the next time you see him, he's got eyelashes. Now the next time he's walking with a switch. Now he talking about, hey girl, friend, like, come on, man. You are emasculate, y'all are emasculating these men. You are supporting man on man. I'm not going to support it. Like I told y'all before. No disrespect, because I know this is the counsel me culture. They're going to try to counsel you for saying something wrong. Listen, I told y'all, I was raised to like nothing but women. I absolutely love women, big women, tall women, skinny women, fat women. I, listen, I love them all. Beautiful women are beautiful women. I love them all. I can't help it. I've been, I've been programmed since a little boy all the way up. It was already in my DNA. I am a man. I was born a boy. You understand what I'm saying? I'm supposed to see a woman and be like, ooh, she look good. I'm supposed to. So when I see people trying to shame men for that, that sounds crazy to me. I'm a heterosexual male. Of course, I see women and be like, Lord, have mercy. God, look what you did, sweet Jesus. She is beautiful. Oh, my, from the head to the toes. Oh, my God, look at her skin. It is so soft. She is so fine. And then I look over here and be like, whoa, blood out. God, dang it. Whoa, she look good. I, I'm supposed to do that. I am a man. I am a boy. It's in my body. It's in my blood. I can't help it. So you can stop trying to shame men for liking women. I'm supposed to like women. I'm supposed to. It's not a crime for me to look at other women and say, oh my God, I'm single. And if I wasn't single, it's still okay for me to look. I can still look. I got eyes in my head for a reason. You're not going to throw my body off, ladies. Y'all are not going to throw the chemistry on my body and have me sick, have me stressed out. You're not going to do that to me. I'm not going to. I'm listening. I'm not listening to y'all. Relationship or not, if I see something that looks good, I'm going to look. I'm not going to touch. But you're not going to make me sit here like this. And she's over here. She just walked in. She smells good. I smell her. And from the glimpse of it, she's beautiful. God made her beautiful, so I can't help but I see it. My woman has to be comfortable enough to know that I love her. She has to be secure enough to know that I only want to be with her. Yes, I'm looking. She's beautiful too. Hey, baby. Hey, hey. She she look good, don't she? Yeah, she look at she look how she put that on. Look, at, look she's curvy. Look at it fits the curves real right. Look, I, I think I want you to get an outfit like that too because y'all are shaped kind of the same. The way that fits on her, you see that? That's going to look like that on YouTube, baby. We're going to go and get an outfit similar to that. I like, hey, baby, where do you get that outfit from? From where? Ross? You got that from Ross? Look, man, we going to look. We in Fendi. You said Ross? Hey, man, that, that thing look good on you, boo. Do your thing. Do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, we're going to go to Ross and get. So, what's the size? That's what I thought, same size as you. We're going to get that for her. I, I like how that looked on her. Now, and I know you're going to look just as good with it on you. We got to stop trying to shame men out here for liking women, man. It's not fair. Y'all got to stop it. I don't know what y'all be thinking. Y'all think y'all casting spells on men now? You get with a man and you think you done casting a spell on this man now? You think this man ain't about to look at another woman now because he's with you? You're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. That's why he picked you. He's with you because he thinks you're beautiful. He comes home to you every night because he thinks you're beautiful. You are the one. But listen, that don't stop these eyes from working. These motherfuckers be like, and we're men. So automatically in a man's DNA, he's going to look. And you trying to stop him from looking is going to make it worse. You trying to stop him from looking is going to make him worse because now he thinks you insecure. One of y'all biggest attractions for us as men is to be secure in yourself, to know you are that. 
to know that ain't nobody can't nobody take your spot. That's the type of women I like. I love women who know for a fact it ain't nothing else walking around that can can take the attention out. If I'm in a relationship, I love a woman who knows it ain't nothing else walking this planet that's going to take the attention out. Because when I see her, if she's insecure and she's mad because I'm looking at another woman, that's a turn off for me. I'm like, God, wait a minute. Do she not know her power? Do she not know how fine she is? She worried about me looking over here huh? just because she's beautiful. Yeah, she looks good. But no, you're you. I'm with you because of you're you. I could I could be anywhere. I could, I could not be in this relationship with you. I can go out here and do whatever I want to out here. I can just be single and go do what I want to do out here. She, a woman has to have enough confidence. That makes you even more attractive as a woman. Y'all want to do all this looking in your man face when y'all see somebody come through the door. Y'all watch a woman come in the door. This is this is y'all right here. Y'all see a woman come through the door. You think she's beautiful. So you automatically think that your man thinks she's beautiful. So you looking all in his face. We see it. I'm, I'm sitting here like, Man, you, that, you really that insecure? You looking at me just to see if I'm going to look at the woman? You really that insecure? That's a turn off, man. I, I, I want my woman to say, look, look over there. She's beautiful. Look, look, look. look. I'm like, yeah she, yeah, she is beautiful. I mean, that, babe, you know you. Baby, you, you the truth. You know you the truth. The fact that you can acknowledge that it's another beautiful woman over here. Man, women are beautiful. I admit it. You can admit it. Y'all know women are beautiful. That's the reason why y'all do all this looking into a man's face as soon as a woman walks through the door. That's why y'all doing it. Y'all got to stop that, ladies. Stop being insecure. Be secure in yourself. You know, y'all know just as well as I know, heterosexual men love women. But once we get that woman that we want to be with, we're only going to be with her. And yes, we're going to find other women beautiful. It's natural. It's common. They made women beautiful. God did this. God gave y'all the racks up top. God gave y'all all the body parts and, and, and it made men and made us attracted to those body parts. That's why the Bible says be fruitful and multiply. We can't be fruitful and multiply if what we see and we ain't attracted to. If we see a woman, if men see women and don't like what they see and they're not going to get aroused by it. They're not even going to want to do what you're supposed to do to make babies in the world. That's the reason why it's made the way it was made. God did that. We can't blame nobody but God for that. God made men and women. God made men love women. And God made women love men. Let's get to the truth of it. Let's stop trying to play. Let's stop trying to shame the men for liking women when women love men. It's the same thing. Men look at, listen, y'all jealous, y'all jealous men got to stop it too because that's a turn off too to the women. Trust me. I know when I walk through the door looking all fly and I see I see your woman sitting there with you and I watch you turn around and look up in her face. I'll be trying to figure this out. I already know what's up. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'm fly in the motherfucker. I got dude looking so uncomfortable. All I did was walk through the door, brother. She can look too, bro. She's supposed to be able to look too. God put it in women too. Women see men and they look too. The same thoughts that we have when we see women is the same thoughts that women have when they see men. It's just what to you, to you insecure players that's on here right now, don't be all in my DMs mad later on. This all I'm telling you. The same way you can look at that woman and know that you only want her right here that's beside you is the same way your woman can look at me when I walk through the door and know that she only wants you. She just sees a handsome man walk through the door. That's it. She see Mr. God got me walk through the door. She see Mr. Le she see Mr. Latrue walk through the door. And just because she might want to take a picture with Latrue, that don't mean nothing else. That just means... She like another black man who come on here and kick some knowledge and who's a real guy. That's all it means, bro. Let her take her photo. And I will say this. There's been some respectful people in my life. In my line of work, I've went out and so many women have came up and took pictures with me while their man is right there. I've even seen the man take a picture. Listen to me. Ain't no confidence higher than a man that will take a picture of his woman with another man. I've seen it for myself several times. So I know for a fact it's a lot of secure men out here in this world. I went in several restaurants, several businesses, and the man said, hey, man, my wife is a fan. She want a picture. Can, and I'm like, man, that's dope. Yeah, I'll take the picture with her. The man, the man is taking a picture of me and his woman like this. He getting down on the, he's squatting down and taking a picture like that. And I'm like, that's respect, bro. Dap him up. Boom. And I walk away and I feel like that's, that's the type of respect. That's the type of security that all people should have in this world. You understand what I'm saying? That's the type of security and respect that all people should have in this world. Why are you insecure? If this is your man or if this is your woman, what you tripping about? You know that's your man and that's your woman. Is you doing what you're supposed to do to keep your man and your woman happy? 
If you ain't, that's probably why you're over here insecure over every little thing that the other person is doing. It's okay for a man to look at a woman. And it's okay for a woman to look at a man. It's in the DNA. We can't, we got to stop trying to hide it. Women be trying to hide it too much and we know it. We know it's in a woman's DNA just like it is in a man's DNA. And the reason why women don't move how the way they feel like men move is because they, they're tired of being talked down on. They, we can't, they came up with all these manipulative names from, from a kid all the way up. If a woman does this, she's this. She's a she's a H-O-E. If a woman does this, she's a B-I-T-C-H. If a woman does this, she's a S-L-U-T. These women don't want to be called these names. These women operate in the same way as the man is operating. They like men just like men like women. It's the facts. And they got to hide it. They got to hide it. They got to hide it. Statistics don't lie. When you go on the Maury show, when you go on these damn shows... And you see, you are not the father. You are not the father. You are not the father. They'll take it to the grave, my brother. If it ain't a DNA test put in, in place, they will take it to the grave. So you better understand it's in the DNA of both people. Be secure with who you with. Be secure with who you are. When you're in a relationship, know who you are. Do the right thing to... to Please and impress the person that you're with. If you're slacking and lacking on your Mac, and then you got to understand that when she look at this other dude, it might be a thought in her mind. She might act on that thought. Same thing with the women out here. If you macking on your lacking and you ain't doing what you're supposed to do and you seeing him looking at another, that's why you upset because you macking on your lacking. You ain't doing what you're supposed to do. Any real confident couple, when two people are together, if you know you're doing what you're supposed to do for your man, you know you're doing what you're supposed to do for your woman, you ain't tripping off the next woman or man walking through the door because you know you got this situation on lock. And you're going to be secure in yourself when you know you got your position on lock, when you know you're doing what you're supposed to do. And being secure in yourself is so attractive to the men and the women around the world. A secure man in his position is very attractive to his woman. She ain't even going to do none of that stuff because she know that you're secure. And you doing everything you supposed to do. She ain't thinking about buddy. It don't matter how much money he got when he walked through that door. It don't matter how fly he is when he walked through that door. None of that matters. When you doing what you supposed to do and you secure. You understand what I'm talking about? But if you insecure, man, I'm telling you right now, you don't stand a chance out here. Insecure men and insecure women in their relationship stand no chance at all. You actually going to push the dude into the other woman's arm. You're actually going to push the woman into the other man's arm, being insecure and all that extra. Oh, let me go through your phone. Nah, nah, nah. I don't do Who's that last night? Who's you with? Who's... I'm about to go. I don't know who I was with. I'm actually about to go and be with somebody now because you in my... you're doing too much. You're doing too much, shorty. I wasn't even thinking about being with nobody else, shorty. You done asked me a million questions. Who was with? What time did you go there? What time did you do this? Oh, I don't know. Let me plan it. Let me let me plan to go here now. Like, get out of my... Like, stop it. Be secure. Women, stop shaming men, man. Men are supposed to like women, especially single men. So when y'all get, y'all think a single man is supposed to only post one person, two people on his platform as an entertainer? And this is the thing, too. This is reality. I am an entertainer. So when I make this post, I'm speaking from an entertainer standpoint. You understand what I'm talking about? As an entertainer, I am going to post with so many different people. As a husband, I was supposed to post with so many different people, but in my marriage, that was one of those things that caused too many problems and friction. So I didn't. That's why y'all got to see something but one person posted down my timeline all day long. One person posted down. Same, same person. Same person. For six years. You might have seen a couple of skits with me with other people, but it was problems every time I'd done those skits. So I had to go back into, okay, I got to go back into this. Let me just do this content right here. Let me just do this strictly this content. No, that's not, I never wanted to operate like that. That was not, that's not where I wanted to operate. I'm an entertainer. I work with a lot of people, which caused my career to be stagnant. Working with the same people all the time, same person every day. That's all, y'all got used to that. Now y'all got to get used to me doing what I'm doing now. I'm doing me. I am single, I am creating my content, and even if I decide to get into a relationship and make it public, I am going to create the content that you guys are watching right now. You understand what I'm saying? The same, what you're seeing now is what you're going to get as an entertainer. So stop projecting your lifestyle off onto my platform. Your lifestyle is different from my platform. I'm an entertainer, your man is not. You dig what I'm saying? You're not an entertainer, he may be, I don't know what y'all's situation is, but... 
Watch the content, enjoy it, and understand that this, you're not going to turn a heterosexual male into none of that other stuff that's going on out there. I'm a heterosexual male. I love women. I absolutely, I absolutely love women. You, you are beautiful. God did his thing when he made women. He did it. And I'm a male. So I'm supposed, it's in my DNA. I, it, it's all over my body. It's all over my body that God did his thing when he made a woman. You ain't nothing more precious and beautiful than a woman to me. I, I can't, I just got to keep it a buck with y'all. I'm, I'm keeping it a buck. Uh, yeah, a lot of y'all so beautiful right now. I want to tell you, I want to kiss every one of y'all right now on this stream. Like y'all are some beautiful women on here. Not saying I'm going to kiss every one of y'all. I'm just saying like it, it's in me to, to feel that way. I love beautiful women. You feel me? When I see y'all, it's, damn, shorty, all right. Oh, she, she ain't, man, she, boy, she, she, she tough. Wow, the skins look so soft. Oh, man. Ooh, she smells so good. What does that smell? What's that fragrance you're wearing? Listen, it's in, it's in the DNA, man. Y'all can stop trying to shame it. You ain't going to stop it. I've been this way since I was a little boy. All the way, I'm, I've been this way since I was a little boy. Ain't, ain't nobody can stop that, man. That's just, this jacket is getting a little bit hot, man. This jacket, I don't know who am I kidding. The ring light is on. This jacket getting a little bit hot, man. Let me see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I, de I definitely enjoy my job. I love to be able to sing. I love to be able to rap. I love to be able to act. I love to be all of that. I love to be able to do all of that stuff as an entertainer, man. My career is entertainment, and I don't see myself doing nothing but entertaining the world. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. doesn't matter how, how much money I have or none of that. The money is not what's making me do it. I love it. Now, yes, I do want the money to come with it. I want the checks, most definitely. I want the checks. But I love to entertain so much, I'll do it for free. I would do it for free. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. Like, I love singing. I love rapping. It brings me peace. It brings me happiness. And I love women. I love to see beautiful women. Book me, man. I love coming to these events and seeing a bunch of beautiful women standing around dancing and vibing out to my music. I love it. I absolutely do. You understand what I'm saying? I absolutely love it. But I just thought I would come on here and tell y'all this. Women. Stop shaming men for liking women because this is what I think this is what's causing these communities of men to play for the other team. I think this is the reason why a lot of men are starting to like men. I'm, I'm, I mean, I could be wrong. I'm just basing it off some of the stuff that I'm seeing because women, you have power, your tongue, you have power in the tongue. So when you're telling men, don't do this, you shouldn't do that. When you say this to these men, some of these men actually listen because men will do anything to make a woman happy. So I think some of these men are going over to the other side to make women happy. And then you got to think this too, ladies, ladies, y'all show more love to the man who's not a heterosexual man. When I see these men online with these wigs on and they fingernails painted and all that stuff with their lipstick on, they, get, they go viral every day. I see these, they get millions of views. They getting hundreds of thousands of likes and shares on their posts. I'm starting to think that y'all like the Fruit Loops. And I, like I said, I think y'all like the colorful men, the men who wear the fingernails and the wigs and the, and the makeup. I think that's what y'all starting to like. So I think men are starting to go play for that side because they see that that's what y'all like. You, women, y'all got a lot of power. When y'all can like a man who puts fingernails on, wigs and makeup, and y'all like their content, and you see so many men going over and doing that, it's for y'all. I'm, I'm convinced at this point that these men are doing this for y'all. I'm convinced that these men are doing this for y'all. Because I don't know what else could, I, like me, I, I know me, I love women. The power of the tongue with a woman, except for going against the grain. Y'all ain't going to make me ever go to the other side. I, I'm going to always love women regardless. It can be a million women on here right now telling me, no, 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 you like women too much. You do you, you this, you this. I'm, I'm going to stand and say, yes, I do. I love women. I absolutely love y'all. Yes. You love women too much. So I do. I love women too much, I guess. If y'all say I love them too much, I love them too much. I, I do. It ain't nothing. Y'all can't shame me for it. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. So give it up. You know, take a break. Take a time out. Because what I've been seeing, it ain't mathing for me, people. Ladies, it's not mathing. I'm pretty sure your dad like women. I'm pretty sure your brothers, because most of y'all are older. Some of y'all are old enough to be my mom on here. And I know back in my time frame, I didn't see a bunch of that switch wishy-washy stuff. I didn't see that. I didn't see that Fruit Loop stuff going on when I came up. As a little boy, I'd never seen a man twist through the house, not one time. I'm just keeping it a buck. When I was five years old, all the men I seen was walking around just like me. They were just like me. 
All the men in my era. Now, the new era, we see something totally different running around here now. Some of these little boys is watching their man, they, they, they daddy walk through the house with, with lipstick and fingernails and all of that. Teach his own. Teach his own. I know this council me culture. How y'all rock? Listen to me. I'm telling y'all how I am, and that's all I'm doing. And I'm, all I'm doing is talking about the reason why things are the way they are right now. Women are embracing that type of stuff. Women are embracing man on man. Y'all are embracing it. Y'all saying it's cool. And then y'all wondering why y'all ain't got a man. Some of y'all women out here running around mad. Y'all wondering why y'all sharing one heterosexual man. Y'all are sharing one heterosexual man because you're making it cool for men to go like men. You're making it cool for these men to put on these fingernails. You're making it cool. So you can't sit back and complain when you ain't got one of your own. If you ain't got a man of your own, you have, you have to blame yourself at this point. Y'all got y'all making it so cool. Y'all making it too cool for these men to go play for the other team. So why wouldn't they stay over there? Don't shame me for liking women. Y'all come over here shaming me for liking women. No, I'm supposed to like women. Ain't that what we supposed to do? We supposed to love women. I mean, so so don't shame the man who likes women. If you're going to shame somebody, go shame the ones who don't like women. Let me get this heart up here. I think I've seen a trick. I've seen somebody do this the other day. See, the thumbs up thing is working. How did I do that? Y'all see that thumb pop up? How do I get this to work now? It was doing it while ago. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I told y'all. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low. Drop it, drop it low. Let me see you dance, girl. Drop it low. Drop it to the flow, yeah. Man, listen. I love women and that's just what it is. Can't nobody shame me for that. But I need y'all to get this right. I need y'all. If y'all gonna shame somebody, shame them ones who don't like y'all. I've never seen women. Why would a woman shame a man who like y'all? I like women. I love women. I absolutely adore women. You hear me? You hear me? Certain things on my body move when a woman walks in the room. You dig what I'm saying? I'm supposed to by design. It's in my DNA. But I'm starting to see that women do not really like men who like them. Y'all like men who like boys. Y'all like men who like men. And like I said, until y'all fix that, y'all going to continue to be out here single and angry and mad because you ain't got nobody. They, they playing for the other team. They playing baseball with the other boys. You understand what I'm talking about? I, I'm on y'all's team. I play, I, play with the, I play with women. That's it. I love women and that's it. So if y'all want to fix this problem, if y'all want more, more men wanting y'all, if y'all want to stop being single and not having a man, don't shame the men who like women. That's what y'all messing up at. Stop shaming men who like women because men are supposed to like women, okay? We're supposed to. If, if a man ain't liking a woman, it ain't right. I, I'm just being, that's, I, that's how I was raised and it's in my DNA. That's how I feel. It's a fact. I, I'm just being, I, I can't help it. I'm tired of these, I'm, these dudes don't want to come over here and speak heavy. They speak light. I speak heavy. I speak the truth. And I don't care. Y'all can put me on them blogs. Y'all can say what y'all want to say about me. One thing you ain't going to be able to say about the truth, though. One thing you can't say about Robert Hampton. You can't say Robert Hampton don't like women. That's one thing you ain't going to be able to ever say about me. I don't give a damn what nobody else say. You can say, you can call me purple, blue, pink. You can call me whatever you want to call me out there. But one thing you ain't going to be able to say about the truth is, you can't say the truth don't like women. You can't say Robert Hampton don't like women. Because Robert Hampton, love the women. Let me see if we can get this heart back up on the screen. How we? Come on, give me the thumbs up. What we doing? Come on, man. This thing don't be working like it's supposed to, man. Come on, Facebook. How you make it work sometimes? Somebody said, I got one year anniversary following the truth. Hey, salute. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the love. Y'all know what's up. That's why a lot of people be mad at me because I speak the truth, man. I don't care whose feelings get hurt by that. I don't care. Y'all can come on here and try to shame the truth. Y'all been doing it for years. He has a woman around him. Oh my God, he's so wrong. No, I'm so right. I love women. And you ain't never going to take that away from me. My grandma told me this stuff when I was a little boy. That you're you, you going to love some women. I, she was right. She said the right thing. My grandpa said it. Yes, my aunties, they all said it. Everybody said it. From a kid up, they was not lying. I love women. They said it. They, 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 was, they was absolutely correct about me. And if I had a son, 
I would have been speaking life into my son the same way. Hey, bro, you're going to love some women, bro. He gonna, why, why you say that, daddy? Because your daddy loves women. You're going to be just like your daddy. That's exactly what I'd be telling my son. That's exa I'd tell him how to treat him right. I'm hey, man, try, got to treat him right, brother. Don't hurt these women, no, brother. Because when you hurt a woman, a woman scorned, or whatever the case may be, man, they will bring you hell. I'm a, I would let my sons know that. I would let my sons know all of those things. And I, to the sons around the world watching right now, to any little boy that sees this video right now, you are supposed to like women. And if a woman tells you that you're wrong for liking women, they telling you a lie. Okay? To all the little boys around the world right now, you're hearing it from a real man. You are supposed to like women. You're supposed to absolutely adore women. You're supposed to protect women. And if you get in a relationship with a woman, you're supposed to protect her. You're supposed to provide for her. You're supposed to treat her like a queen. You're supposed to put her on a pedestal. But she has to be respectful to you for you to do that, sons. All those fathers out there, all those little boys out there, you have to understand these. You are supposed to love on women. They're supposed to smell good to you, boys. They're supposed to look so good to you, boys. You hear me? They're supposed to feel so good to you, boys. You understand what I'm talking about? But do right by them. Love them. Don't hurt them. Love them. You dig what I'm talking about? And tell them the truth. Boys, always tell the girls the truth. Always tell the woman the truth. Keep it real with the woman. Okay? That's what I go by. That's what I live by. Tell the truth to the woman. Don't lie to the woman. Tell her the truth. But you're supposed to love women. Okay? You're supposed to. Okay? Don't let nobody shame you and tell you that you like women too much. It's, it's impossible to like women too much. That's impossible. It's impossible. Now, if someone tells you you don't like women enough, step your, step your pimping up. You're supposed to love women. You're supposed to. It's in your DNA. Crack open the Bible. Be fruitful and multiply. The only way a man can multiply is with a woman. It's the only way. Women is where it's at, buddy. If you are a man, you're supposed to be the happiest person walking the planet. Women are beautiful. Women are absolutely soft. Women are everything, bruh. You hear me? That's what you're supposed to like is women. You're supposed to love women, okay? So I'm letting you know this to the people who don't. If you ain't got a father to tell you this, and if you got a mother telling you lies, telling you you're not supposed to love women, don't listen to that. You are supposed to love women. And if your mother tells you that you're not supposed to love women, ask her how she got here. Ask her how you got here. See, the problem is you little boys out here ain't asking the right questions. If your mother tells you, no, you're not supposed to like women, ask her how did she get here and ask her how you got here. You understand what I'm saying? Well, how am I here, mom? Well, how am I here, dad? That's, they, these are the important questions you need to be asking to the little girls out here. If someone to ask her how she got here. How did I get here, mom? This, these are valuable questions that you kids should know. Now, as me being a responsible person, man, father, all of that, influencer, all that, protect yourself when you are a kid, period. When you are a kid, you shouldn't even be thinking about these things. But we understand that kids have kids too. Protect yourself at all costs. There's so many different ways of protection out here. Girls and boys, so many different ways of protection. I would say abstinence is the best thing for you kids until you get to an age where you're responsible because a lot comes with it. You understand what I'm saying? A lot comes with it. So be responsible. Abstinence until you graduate high school. That's, that's my advice. But I understand it. People are going to do what they want to do. They're going to do what their body tells them to do. They're going to do what they feel. I get that. So protect yourself at all costs. It's research all around the world. If your mama and your daddy is too scared to tell you what's going on, it's always research on safety. But you're hearing me. Wait until you are an adult. Because a lot of problems come with this, man. A lot of problems come with that stuff. I'm telling you right now. Make sure you are responsible. Make sure you have graduated high school. That is my honest analogy on all of that. But to the men on here right now, if you're being shamed by a woman and she's telling you that you're wrong for liking women, 
and you still listening to that, you are not a man. You are not a man. To the women out here, if it's a man telling you that you're not supposed to like men and you're listening to that, you're not a woman. Your body should tell you that you like men. You are a man. Your body should tell you that you like women. I don't know any other way to come on here and tell y'all this. Now, I done broke it down a thousand different ways and there's still people in these comments who goofy and don't understand what's going on. He's just trying to justify what he does. It's no, re ain't no justification for what I do. I'm a man. I like women. I'm single. I can do what I want to do. I'm a grown man. Again, if y'all going to shame someone, shame them dudes who decided to not play for y'all's team and like women, and they decided to play for the other team that like boys. Shame them. Don't shame the man who likes a woman. I'm on the right team. I'm playing for the right team. I am a male. Go, go women. Go, go, go women. I absolutely love y'all. So go, go women. Go, go women. I absolutely love y'all. I absolutely love beautiful women. And that's for y'all. I love women. And that's just what it is, man. I love women. I'm going to get you. You're going to be in a pretzel move. All types of moves around me. I love women. I can't help it. It's in my DNA to love women. So... Get that on up out your head thinking that you're going to stop the truth. Robert Hampton from, from not liking women. It's not going to happen. I love women. I absolutely do. Y'all are beautiful. God did, did his thing, man. God did his thing with y'all. He did it. I can't help it. He did it. And then y'all got all these super enhancements now too out here. Every one, every one of y'all, every one of y'all got luxurious hair and, and lashes and makeup. Every one of y'all, y'all distracting everybody out here. So y'all got to blame it on all that too. The cosmetics is doing it too. And I'm a man, I love natural beauty better than all of it. But what I'm telling you is when I see a black woman jump out with some blonde hair all down her back and it's luxurious and she got the makeup on and all that, I'll be like, what the hell is going on? Where is she from? Is she black and knees? Is she blockasian? What is she? I don't know. I'm confused. So yes, I do look. But natural beauty has always been the best beauty for me. I love a natural woman, but I can't help it. When you hop out that car and you got a, a orange hair, I, I was a little boy. I've never seen orange hair grow out of woman's hair ever in my life. You hopped out and you got the body, you got the big breasts, you got the, the, the big booty. You, you hopped out with the long orange hair and I looked and I gazed and I said, wow, what is she? Blonde Janice, what is she? She's not black. What, how the hell she got orange hair? How she got green hair growing out of her scalp? What in the world is going on? Oh my God, look at the body. Wow, wow, that's how I see it. I can't help it. I'm a man, I'm a visual creature. Y'all know men are visual creatures. You know this about us. That's why y'all do what y'all do. And then y'all get upset. Oh my God, why is he looking at me? Why is he looking over here at me? Because you got orange hair down to your back. And your titties is foul. And your butt is bow, and your waist is snatched. That's why I'm looking. Stop to ask why you y'all be asking men why they looking at you when you jump out looking like a whole alien, a whole sexy ass alien. Oh my God, what, what planet is she from? She got green, blue, purple hair, and her body is flawless. Who made that body? What? Who did that? Did your your mom and daddy ain't didn't, didn't do that? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, your mom and daddy didn't do this. You you mad at me because I looked at you? I'm a man. I'm supposed to look at you. And then you gave me, you're bright. You're the same color. This, this is like when I step out in the car, everybody looking at me. Look at my jacket. Come on, look at my, it's colorful. Of course. I'd be a fool to be sitting over there talking about, man, man, why they looking at me so hard? Why, what? I, I mean, I look like a stoplight. I look like a go light and I look like a caution light. Of course you gonna look at me. I'm expecting you to. I'm colorful. Duh. Duh, you jumped out the car with pink hair, big titties, snatch waist, big butt, and you confused the why people are looking at you? Man, you better stop that, man. Y'all y'all women be tripping me out with this. Come on, man. Come on, women. You look like Dolly Parton mixed with Beyonce mixed with Pink Panther. Of course I'm looking. I'm trying to figure you out. You look good, too. Your skin glossed up. You got glitter. Like, come on, man. Y'all got to understand, I came up in an era where every woman looked beautiful, naturally beautiful, natural. Some of them, some of them got fat, some of them skinny, some of them medium sized. Didn't matter. They was beautiful. They smelled good. They still were soft. Now we in 2024 where a woman looks out, look, jumps out looking like a Barbie doll. The same dolls I used to see my little cousins and 
and, 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 and sisters and stuff playing with. Long pink hair down their back. Perfect breasts, perfect waist, perfect booty. And now I see women hopping out Lamborghini trucks and Honda Accords and, and Nissan Maximas looking like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm driving by and, you, and you're walking out of the car and I'm stopping and I'm looking. I'm a man. I'm supposed to look. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Is this reality or is it, how did this Barbie doll be so become human like? You got green eyes? You a black woman with green eyes? And then you mad, you wondering why I'm looking. I'm trying to figure out how you got green eyes. And you, how you look so good? How you look so good? Why your skin looks so glossy? Where is the glitter? Where did glitter come from? I'm trying to see that. And then women want to say they not, they don't want the attention. Stop. You, you do. You came here for the attention. You put on that whole outfit and that whole thing that said confusion. And yes, we are real, we're looking. Now you want to walk off fast to your car, run to your car like you afraid. No, ain't nobody trying to do nothing to y'all. We just try, we confused too. Just as confused as you is running away, we're confused to why you're running away. We're wondering why you're looking so terrified because we're looking. Stay, come out the house normal then. Come out the house. Beautiful black women, come out the house. Natural hair color, come on out. It'll change. It won't. It'll be more normal for you. We'll be like, oh, that's a beautiful woman. Hey, how you doing? You got to think if you hop out the truck or the car with pink long hair, dazzled down your back, glitter on your body, big butt, snatch waist, big titties, and his mouth wide open. He's not the crazy one. Did you see you before you walked out the house? Did you see you? Did you see what you look like before you walked out? You done walked by 20, 30 mirrors in the house. You've been in the mirror all day. You done put the angle on your body. You done posted yourself on Instagram. You done got your bad out in the back. You done got your butt and everything in the back with your camera. And then you walked outside and you confused the why this man looking at you like that, his mouth is open. He, did, he just seen you. He didn't see you prepping in 30 mirrors before you came outside. He only saw you hop out that raggedy ass Honda Accord. And he trying to figure out how you look more expensive than that raggedy ass Honda Accord. And you look good. He's trying to figure you out. Like, oh my God. Honda blowing smoke like a motherfucker, but you look like you a million dollars. I'm mouth wide open. You running, walking fast to the, you trying to hurry up, act like you're on the phone. You ain't even on the phone. Yes, I'm, I'm on my way in right now. We see your phone screen. Nobody's on there. You're not talking to anyone. What are you afraid of? If you didn't want the attention, if you wanted people to look at you like you was normal, you should have came out the house normal. Come out as a normal black woman. Just came out normal. Just come out. Black hair, natural. Then you get a normal reaction. If you come out looking like a comic book character or cartoon character or Barbie doll, then you're going to get that type of treatment. You're good. People are, me, these men are going to look. Some of these men are going to follow you around. They can't believe it. I'm like, oh my God. What? She has green hair? Oh, she has blue eyes? She's black? Oh my God. What? Wait. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. You ignoring the nigga thing. You done dropped your wallet on the floor. You dropped your purse down on the floor. He picked your purse up. He's trying to get your attention. Excuse me. Excuse me. You turn around. I have a boyfriend. Uh, you have a boyfriend? I was trying to give you your purse. Plus, you got pink hair. I, I don't know. I'm trying to help you. No, leave me alone. I'll get out of here, ladies. You ask for that attention. Men like women. So however you come out the house, the more attention you're going to get. If you came out with the pink hair today, if you come out with the green hair tomorrow, if you come out with the orange hair and you are a black woman, white woman, Mexican woman, Spanish, we know hair does not grow pink, red, blue, purple. We know this. We know this for a fact. We've studied the human body. We know that DNA is not giving you that color hair. So stop trying to act like you're confused that we're confused. Of course we're confused. You got big titties. You got a snatch waist. You got a big butt. You got purple hair. Of course we're confused. Of course we're looking at you. We're not weird. We're men and we like women and you just came out with a whole costume on that turned us on. We're trying to figure it out. But y'all shame the straight male, the heterosexual male. Y'all shame them.
It ain't my fault. Take it back to Master P. It ain't my fault. Y'all's fault. Y'all did this, man. Now let me get back into my sounds. I'm gonna switch my costume out before I get off here. Hold up, watch this, watch this. I'm finding a beat. I love all women 
trying to shame me for loving women, and I do, yeah. Oh, I absolutely love women, yeah. All women are beautiful in this world. Soft skin, you smell good in the mood, baby. Robert Hampton, y'all know how I do it, man. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Robert Hampton, the entertainer.